Hello and welcome to another Map Center 2.0 video tutorial. This is the second part of a two-part series uh, with analysis from start to finish and precision egg that follows. I have reloaded the data set that I originally used from the last tutorial and I'm going to quickly run through each of the different types of precision egg tools that are available. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up the analysis options panel again However, this time we are going to move over to the Precision Egg tab down at the bottom. And here it says, please select an active data set to display its histogram. And a little note underneath says, must be the type of analysis or edited image. I will go that in depth later on. But um, So the first thing that we need to do is select the data set that we would like to work with. I'm going to select the analysis that we see on the screen here and we see that a histogram has shown up. At the last tutorial I did a 15 zone map and now we're going to just run through each of the uh, uh, precision egg pieces. The first of which will be the merge tool. So I'm going to click on a few of these zones here, these lower zones, one, two, three, four, and five, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit merge zones here on the left. Uh, two things will happen. A new data set will append on the screen and you'll actually see um, it also show up here and it'll start to create a history for you and it says it says the name of the original and then it also adds um, a little letter M for merge the amount of zones that remain and then the step process that you're in so this is the first thing that we've done to it so now I'm going to select that zone that we just created let's go ahead and select zone 4 and you also see now a little uh, shift bar has a little little uh, slider bar has shown up. This is to shift your zone to shift your zones. This is for one zone at a time. Um, if you move the the bar to the right, it will expand the zone that you have selected, and conversely to the left, it will um, col uh, condense it. So let's, for the example, I'll move it over to a three. So I'm increasing it by about fifty percent, and. Again, you'll see two things happen. Um, you'll see the histogram and a map will change. You'll see a little bit more of that color green on the map. Um, four will get bigger and then another data set will append. And now it says, instead of just the M, it says M and S, merge, shift, still 11 zones. And this is the second thing that we've done to this. So just to kind of keep a history track so you know where you're going. The next thing we're going to do is change a couple of the colors here. So let's go ahead and select this scale. Um, the current one I have selected, see how it highlights over here. This is the color that I've currently selected. Let's go ahead and change that to more of a, just let's move it over just one here. And we'll apply the color. Now we can do it to just one, but we can actually um, change multiple zones uh, we can change the color of multiple zones and then apply it all at once. But I just wanted to show you that you can do it with one thing. Now a new data set, new data set has uh, appended. Now it says M, S, and C, O for color. Um, this is the third step in the process. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to dissolve. And let's go. And these this is uh, dissolve is in the amount of acres. So I'm going to go with 0.1 acres. Now every, when you hit dissolve, everything that is every little circle or a little odd shape little island here that you have anything that's smaller than 0.1 acre will actually um, blend into its parent so this like for example if this is this little area that you can see by my mouse if that is less than 0.1 acres it's going to actually turn a slightly lighter green and much with all the other places so let's go ahead and dissolve see what happens and 0.1 might be a little bit much but for this tutorial, it's a good for, to show a good dramatic example. So again, we'll see a couple of things happen. We we now see the a dramatic change in our histogram. We see that the another data set has appended, and we see the D on there. So we have M S C O and D. Um, we now have eight zones, and this is the fourth step in our process. And now you also see the map has gotten quite a bit simpler. The those shapes have gotten quite a bit bigger. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull up the paint tools. Let's go ahead and open that up. 
and there's a little shortcut you can go up here to on the top. There's paint tools, and there's also the drawing tools. So here's our paint tools, just like so. And let's go ahead and each of these paint tools here. So the first one, this is paint pixel. So basically you choose your you, your uh, brush size or your pen size and go ahead and start painting. The next one is the paint polygon tool, much like the drawing tool. You draw your points and then you'll close it off and then whatever color as in here you have selected, uh, it will fill that in. Once you feel comfortable with all the things that you've done, you go ahead and hit the green checkbox here and it will save a new, it will create a new data set for you and a new, uh, it'll new display on the map. So I will take the paint polygon tool and I suggest you use the paint polygon tool as much as possible. It's much more efficient than the paint pixel. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to, we're going to basically blot off this green area here. So let's go ahead and start drawing. Okay, and then I'm going to close it off. But first, I am going to make sure that I want I want the color to be dark green rather than that light green. Actually, let's go ahead and make it that the same as its parent. I believe that's this color here. Let's go ahead and close it off. Nope, that is incorrect. <clears throat> okay, let's do that one more time. See how fast that was. And then to send that call to the server is pretty quick. So let's go ahead and close this one off with this color. Perfect. And go ahead and set that. And just like every other step that we've done, we will see um, that data set, uh, new data set append here with the information describing what has been done. Uh, and you'll now see that there are slight changes here in the um, histogram as well. Now, once you've edited, once you've dissolved, you've lost the integrity of this of the uh, um, histogram. So you are actually um, you can still change colors, things like that. But you're no longer able to merge zones. You're no longer able to um, uh, shift uh, because you've lost the integrity of that original raw scene because you've changed things on your own. You've went in and painted your own shapes. Um, so you've you've lost the integrity. Um, but um, that's pretty much, that's, uh, that's precision egg in a nutshell. Um, any questions, go to satchot.com. Uh, I will save this here real quick just to show you uh, what that will look like. So it tells you the scene, the date, the type of analysis that you originally did, everything that you've done to it, and then how many zones remain. So we'll save that, and you'll see that append to our farms, fields, and highlights list under edited. All right. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, go to satchot.com uh, under the contact tab and uh, just drop us a line. Otherwise, uh, happy farming.